Hey, not all beaches are created equal. Just get that out of the way right off the bat. So this is Playa Tamarindo, I believe is how it's pronounced. And uh, actually, let me turn this around. See that mountain right there? Okay. That's where we were just at a while ago, up on top. And I'm reasonably sure those are the two islands that were in the video and the pictures that I took. So we're, I mean, it took us a little while to get back here. That is a, a pretty bad road <laughs> to get down. But uh, anyway, this is uh, the public access and I'm not sure if this is where the families come, but it's it's pretty trashy, honestly. It's got uh, trash and everything else piled in here. Okay, there's another beach up here a little ways away that uh, Everybody brags on in El Salvador. So, I'm gonna get back in Lucy and we're gonna head that way and just sort of see what the hubbub's all about. <laughs>
All right, hello everyone. In this video, we just finished the Espiritu of Montana, uh, the vantage point, top of this dormant volcano, beautiful views, got to see the ocean, islands. Yeah, it's quite a little track to get up the mountain. There were people uh, hiking and there were people driving and Lucy did fine. This is after the, uh, the repair work was done and she climbed four wheel drive, no problem, up the mountain. And it wasn't the best road, no doubt. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple of the beaches and, and there's two in this video. The first one is Playa Tamarindo. Now, my Waze app took me to the public access of Tamarindo. And I'm not sure there could be a better beach location, uh, Playa. Uh, for Tamarindo for family oriented stuff but this was the public access it was wide open it was huge so I mean it had some waves it was uh, it was a cool place to be uh, downside is there's there wasn't anything there as far as uh, ramadas places to eat uh, little shops hotels anything like that it was just a basic beach and uh, if you're gonna bring your family out there, I'd recommend you bring a rake or something because there was quite a bit of debris that had been washed up on the shore, left by previous beachgoers, which unfortunately does happen. But uh, overall, it looked like a pretty nice one. And I think it'd be worth checking out. And especially if you're from down in that area, it gives you an excellent opportunity to go to the beach with the family. Okay, the second beach is the much talked about and highly acclaimed Playa Cuco. Now Playa Cuco is just a little further away from where we were just at, and it has got to be one of the most pristine, beautiful, family-friendly beaches that I've found so far. And there's like three, really, three on my list right now of the top beaches that I've been to here in El Salvador, and that is San Blas, really like San Blas. Costa del Sol, beautiful beach, beautiful white sand beach. And Cuco, Playa Cuco. Yeah, it was beautiful. Uh, you can tell from the drone shots and just walking along the beach there. They maintain it, all those uh, ramadas, places to eat, the little shops, the hotels, it's all there and they do everything they can to make sure it is someplace you wanna go. And a lot of people in El Salvador, that's their destination. That's where they wanna go. And I, I agree. I mean, it was, it was wonderful. Now I stayed at the Hotel Marbella and the Hotel Marbella is just right there on the beach. And now I wasn't sure where I was gonna stay. I didn't have reservations, I just, we're driving down through there and I saw this place. It looked pretty awesome. And I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. I uh, just went in and uh, got a room. The service was awesome. Food, best. It was great. And then direct access to the beach. So yeah, that morning I got out and uh, really enjoyed the place. Uh, met some people from New York. Uh, there were people from all different places there. It's a, definitely a de destination spot. And uh, it's at the top of my list as far as uh, if you want to get away from it, that might be a good place to go. Uh, they took care of me really well. Uh, got, got to fly the drone, no problems. And I got some really beautiful shots of the ocean, of the waves crashing in. Uh, they even had, I think, some tour boats going out, taking people out. And of course, the fishing boats were there too. So it's a very active place. Now, if you're familiar with El Salvador, you can sort of see by my route that I'm making my way back up the coast, heading north. And I've got another town that'll be after this video. And it's a, it's a small town. Well, it's, not, <laughs> it's really not small, but the part I stayed in was small and it was more a neighborhood, which was definitely different, and it was, uh, it was fun to do. And uh, got to experience a little bit more of the El Salvadorian life 
instead of the tourist top life. So keep watching for that one. It'll be out soon. So thanks for all the likes, the comments, subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it very much. And until next time, it's Hasta Luego, and I'll see you later.